Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a May favourites video. I've never done one of these videos. Or like, actually, I think this is called May must-haves. That's what I was going to call it. Because it's like M&M, &M, you know. This is basically my favourite items um, from May, from the month May. And this is a range of items from fitness to beauty, clothing, anything that I have found in May that I've loved. So let's jump straight in with my first May favorite, which is my Johnny Topshop jeans, the khaki ones. Loads of you wanted to know where these are from. I posted a photo of them on my Instagram and um, everyone loved these jeans. Um, I love them so much. I'm obsessed with the Johnny Topshop jeans, which is what this style is. Johnny Topshop jeans, and I get them in a waist 25 and length 30, but obviously, oh, it's coming off. At the time, I was like, mm, do I get them, mm, do I not? Literally, never regret buying a pair of Johnny jeans. I wear them all the time and I love them so much, so love. A second kind of product range to talk about is the Sport FX uh, beauty products. These products um, I love and I've just got, a, I've picked my select fave, which I have been using like every day and I'm actually wearing the majority of them now. Bronzer, I'm wearing the BB cream under my eyes, I'm wearing the bronzer on my eyelids and under my eyelids, and I'm wearing the eyebrow pencil, which is just my fave. Sport FX is like a sweat resistant, sweat proof, kind of water resistant makeup brand for people, it's like for active people or people who wanna to go to the gym wearing like quite a natural makeup look. Um, it's just basically a brand that produces makeup that is for the gym and for people who sweat, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I absolutely love the product. I love that they are 100% cruelty free. They suit my skin, which is quite sensitive, which I which I like because all their products are kind of very natural and, sorry, not the products, all the ingredients are very natural. They contain sun protection, like SPF 15, SPF 20, which is so good because I always look for makeup which contains that because I'm very self-conscious of my skin aging in the sun and stuff. My favorite product by them is the eyebrow pencil. I love that it has a twisty top, so you don't have to sharpen it because I always sharpen into my bag and it just gets such a mess. Um, the colour has been perfect for my brows, brunette. I find it really difficult to find a colour that matches my brows. This is the brunette colour and it matches it perfectly. On the other end you've got the bristle thing to brush out the like pigment and I love having one of these. Like I cannot live without one of those on the end. Again it has the waterproof properties in it so when you sweat, like I often sweat around my brow and forehead area at the gym and it just helps keep that on because I always 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 struggle with my eye brows coming off before anything else and so this has been a lifesaver for my sweaty workouts at the gym. Next is the mascara. Now this has beeswax in it to help your lashes kind of like stay on for longer which I think is fab. Um, it, if you've seen the makeup tutorial, it produces quite a long lash effect, which is the kind of lash effect that I like. It was actually hard to get off with a makeup wipe, which was good because mascara is so easy to just wipe off, tends to either give you panda eyes at the gym or just falls off by the end of the day. This is long lasting and doesn't give you panda eyes because obviously again, it's sweat proof slash water resistant, so love it. Next favorite is the double set. I love the two colours in this set because I like to have a light um, colour to do the highlighting points and then it's a quite natural bronzer. This is the kind of bronzery colour that you get which is quite natural and I also use the bronzer to do in the crease of my eyelid and just under. Yeah that just kind of brings out your eyes in quite a natural way which I really really like. So this doesn't settle into the creases. I have quite a lot of creases when I smile and stuff and it doesn't <laughs> doesn't settle into the creases and um, which I really like and it, it stops you going shiny when you sweat. It's quite a matte look and I really like that because I hate looking shiny. I always like looking matte, so that's good for that. Next favorite is the brush. I absolutely love this brush. I've never had a brush like this before. This side is for like the um, liquids and like the base layers, and then this side is for the powders, and I just really like this. It's very soft. There's very soft um, bristles, very high quality because my skin really struggles. I've got eczema and sensitive skin, so it really struggles with um, kind of itchy, harsh bristle, bristles, <laughs> bristles. so this, Bristle is very, very, very so soft and I love it. Oh yeah, and last but not least, the lip balm. It's basically everything, but those were my favorites. There were more products, but those are my favorites. And this lip balm, because one, it smells insane, and two, I love tinted lip balms because I can't, I have got a lip um, liner on and lipstick thing on at the moment, but when I wanna go to the gym, I hate wearing any kind of lipstick or lip liner, but I like to have a tinted kind of lip, so, a tinted lip balm is just my favourite thing to wear to the gym. My next thing in the May favourites 
is this bikini um wait it's not a bikini <laughs> this swimsuit um i wore this on holiday and again loads of you wanted to know where it's from and it's from top shop and it was in a size oh man i can't remember what size i bought and obviously there's not a tag oh there is size six i couldn't remember whether it was size eight or size six and it's a size six and i bought it recently so it should still be there it's got like these mesh kind of slits on the side which i absolutely love and yeah i just really 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 like it my next products are from Woman's Best Protein Power Cookie. I can't believe I've only just discovered this in May. Like, what? Where has this been my whole life? But basically, I tried the white chocolate one. Oh, it was okay. I wasn't that first. Then Meg was like, why haven't you tried the chocolate one? And I was like, because it'll probably taste like the white chocolate one. I ordered it. No, no, no. It was amazing. And I eat basically one of these every day. This is my last one. And I really was craving this earlier, guys. And I had to save it for this video. <laughs> so that is true love for you because... I really wanted to eat this earlier. The next thing I have is candles. Now these are from my friend's sister's company which she started up and it's called Sophie James um, because her name's Sophie and my friend's name is James, um, not my boyfriend James. Um, yeah, basically they've started this candle company and it is like a luxury high-end candles. Obviously wanted to see like what they were like and like wanted to smell them all. Literally as soon as she got them out of the bag, like not even got them out of the box, like got them just out, I could smell them. They were so strong. And before I've been like, what's the point in a luxury high-end candle? It's, I can smell it literally so strong right now and the smell lasts all the way down the candle because what you'll find with a lot of um, cheaper candles is, which is really, really clever, is they put, I always think like how can they afford to sell a candle for like one pound because basically they put all the really scented stuff at the top and then by the time you get to like literally like a few centimetres down, there's like hardly any smell in the rest of the candle but these candles burn all the way through. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could smell this. Mm. Oh God, it smells so good. I can't. That is literally stunning. My next favourite is, of course, the seamless leggings. Just because I have worn these a lot during May. But basically, these are the best leggings ever. And everyone is just dying for them. And they sold out within like two seconds last time they went live. And they're just incredible and so flattering. They've got the booty contour. You can go and watch the video all about these leggings if you haven't seen them already. But these were an absolute favourite for May. I love them. Next, I have another foodie item. Love food. I think it was May. I think it was like really at the beginning of May that I discovered. Actually, it might have been like end of April, but whatever. I have been obsessed with Pop Chips ever since I discovered them, thanks to one of my favourite YouTubers, Elle Darby. She loves these, and these are, the actual ones are called Pop Chips, but these are the kind of like fake version from Lidl, I want to say. It's either Aldi or Lidl, and I think it's Lidl. Barbecue, the macros are amazing. There's so many in there, and I always eat like a whole pack because I end up being able to fit those macros into my, um, macros? Not that, <laughs> not that I really track that often anymore, but... Yes, amazing. I love them so much and they do other flavours like um, sour cream and chive and stuff like that. And yeah, if you haven't tried these yet, just try them. These are called Popped and the other ones are called Pop Chips. These were called Pop Outs. They keep changing the name. They probably keep getting sued for copying Pops Chips. Yes, very nice. And next we have a Primark bag. This is from Primark. It was only £8. I am obsessed with little mini rucksacks. I mean, I know this isn't that mini, but I'm obsessed with like the leather cute mini rucksacks. And basically it's just a really cute rucksack. I have my other navy one, which I take everywhere with me. And I wanted like a slightly bigger one. My navy one is literally tiny and fits like my purse and water bottle in and that's it. But that's perfect size sometimes. But I needed a slightly bigger one. Um, and so yeah. This one's cute, it's got a hold like that so you can hold it and then it's also got straps to the back and I absolutely love it and it fits quite a lot in it and it was only £8 so I love the look of it as well, I think it's very cute. Last but not least, one of my favourite things that I bought in May was of course the peach case guys. All of you have been asking where this is from and it was from Topshop, it was £14 and I absolutely love it. These bits, these glittery bits are a bit rough and James was like, eh, it feels horrible. But I don't really care about stuff like that. I just think it looks great. 
Although, I am very, very, very upset because I try to be hip and cool and clever and be like, you know what, I don't need iPhone, I don't need Apple, I'm gonna move over to the new Samsung S8, it looks awesome, it looks great, and I'm hip and cool enough to do that. Don't do that. So I moved over to the Samsung S8. Like, to, admittedly, it looks cooler. It's longer, it's thinner, it's just all black, there's no button. It's just, I think because I've been with Apple for so long, I just, every, I feel like a grandma on there. Like, I can't type quickly. I'm, the emojis is ugly compared to the iPhone ones. I find the home, there's so many things. It's just so complicated and I literally feel like a grandma using it. I'll have to see if I can get used to it and whether that's just the only thing putting me off. But I feel like it's just so, like, not clean and not, like, nice to use compared to the uh, uh, iPhone. But that could, like I said, be because I've just used an iPhone for so long. I'm just so used to them. But we shall see. But anyway, my biggest regret of buying it was obviously that I didn't realise that I can't use my peach case on it. So I'm very, very, very upset. And I'm going to have to try and find a peach case that fits the Samsung S8. I really don't like it at the moment and kind of want to change. Don't tell James because he was like, you're not going to like it. And I was like, I'm going to love it, babe. And now I hate it. But don't tell him. I hope you're not watching this, James. So yeah. That is everything done for the May. I keep calling it May favorites. It's May must-haves. These are my must-haves for May. They are a random little selection of goodies, but they are all things that I found slash used a lot of in May. Um, I love the kind of idea of this video. Um, just like showing you what I've been obsessed with slash used in each month I think it's a really good idea if you guys like this video and like the idea of me doing that every month then chuck me a comment below and let me know if I should keep doing them thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video if not before on my other social medias I love you very much bye guys Mwah.